Hello Libra, thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to be doing a reading for you today. Um, I don't have a theme in mind, I'm just going to see what comes out for you, but I did get a few messages for you before the reading. Um, so the message I'm getting really is that you're in a very, you're basically, there's a lot of Jupiter energy is what I'm picking up on. Energy of expansion, um, but really what I'm getting is that there's some sort of big desire or big manifestation or something that's very, um, like it's life-changing, like it's far off from what your current life or lifestyle is right now. This is something that you're desiring, that you're literally trying to bring into your reality, you're trying to align with this reality. Whether you are doing that, like, consciously, like, actually actively trying to align with a specific reality, or you just have a really big desire. It's something big, though, okay, it's not little. <laughs> Um, Jupiter energy, strong Jupiter energy. So there could be something with Jupiter in your birth charts. You may want to look at where Jupiter is, which house it's in, and which sign. Um, you, there might be some, okay, there might be some, um, clues or answers within that. Like if you go into researching your birth chart and take a look at your Jupiter sign and the placement of it, where it is in, in the houses. Um, if you look at that, even if you already have before, if you look at that and, and, and read about it, there might be something that um, is an answer for you with, with something, or you might just be connecting with your Jupiter energy in general, or you're really utilizing, um, I want to say, your Jupiter superpower. Okay, so whatever Jupiter has blessed you with. And the house that it's in really says a lot about... Um, where you're going to have the most luck, you're going to have the most prosperity, where where in your life or where in, in your situation you could see more expansion or ways that you could see more expansion. So look into that and maybe even look into that specifically, like how to use your Jupiter sign for your benefit. Okay. All right. Now that I've ooh, done the spiel. Let's see what we have for, I wanted to call you Jupiter, <laughs> what do we have for Libra? What do we have for Libra today? What's going on with Libra? I'm hearing stepping up to the plate, oh, okay, we have the Emperor. Okay, so I'm definitely getting that this is something, okay. Okay. You're trying to be pushed into this leadership role or this role of taking some sort of action to make some sort of big change in your life. Okay, there could be something about this big desire that you're trying to manifest that there, you're doubting or you're battling your ego on this. Okay. You're being asked to take a leadership position or you're some of you might be you're starting a business or you you run a business or you're going to be leading a group of people or leading um I'm hearing a part of your company or a section of your company or something like I'm hearing specifically a section of your company but I don't know if that's like an official way to say things. Um a department It feels bigger, though. It feels much bigger than just, you know, moving around within a company. Like, this is a big achievement that you're being, that you're asking the universe for, but, but you're asking the universe, but the universe is asking you to take the lead or to, to take this action, make this move, start that project, start leading, start, you know, directing others or... I'm hearing you have to start directing your own energy. Interesting. There could be something very powerful about the color red for you. Um, and this is Aries energy with the Emperor. Yeah, someone's being asked to step into their masculine energy and lead something or to be um, even more structured with something, or more dedicated, or being more consistent, that's what I'm looking for, more consistent with something. Okay, show me more. 
You're asking for something big, but the universe is asking you to take a big step in return. If you are in a twin flame situation, this could be mirror. Okay, this this situation type of situation could be mirroring, but that but in a way that like, if you're divine feminine. Um, you could be being asked to step more into your masculine energy and vice versa for Divine Masculine. Okay, so Divine Masculine might be needing to not try to force things, or not force things, not that uh, you, like, should be trying to force things being in masculine energy, but, like, not trying to take so much action and kind of, um, slow down. I'm getting slow down. Um, some people that I'm picking up on might have Divine Masculines that overwork themselves a lot. Because they believe that's what they have to do. Some of you who are, some of you might be, like, if you're in separation with your Twin Flame or Divine Masculine, or even if not, there could be something where there's going to be a little bit more alone time, or... There's something where they have to go off, like, they're, especially if you guys are um, in separation, in physical separation, there might be a little bit of an energetic disconnect that you're going to be picking up on because there's something about your divine counterpart is going, they're going deeper into something, or they're, they're diving into something, they're looking into something, or they're going within more. Okay, Virgo energy. Um, this could be happening during Virgo season, which is coming up. Or there could be something um, very healing about Virgo season or very significant about Virgo season for your connection. Okay. October. Now, Virgo season isn't in October, but I'm getting October. Wait. Yeah, Virgo season it starts in September, beginning of September, or end of August, whatever. Okay, all right, show me more. Okay, I'm looking at this, I keep getting drawn to this, and I'm hearing golden apple. I don't know what that's about. Okay, show me more for Libra. I only got one card out. <laughs> show me more for Libra. Eight of Cups. Ooh. Okay, there's a specific mindset. Got the Empress on the bottom. <coughs> there's a specific mindset or... A specific place or belief that you're being asked to let go of so that you can start moving towards this desire, this desired reality that you're trying to create. Um, I'm hearing it's your destiny to, to be in this, I want to say timeline, to be in alignment with this desire is your destiny, you're destined for it. But you're being asked to walk away from something or or leave something behind or let go or release an old belief, old habit, old mindset. When it, especially if it if if the mindset or the belief is relating to this desire that you're trying to create. Like uh there could be something with imposter syndrome. Um there could just be like feelings of inadequacy um or feeling like something is too far away from you or too impossible or the dream is too big release all that you're being asked to release that and actually have faith and move forward with faith faith in your destiny faith in what you've been told and clarity you've received messages you've received from spirit guides your inner your inner knowing Some of you have 
a divine counterpart that's also being asked to walk away from something, um, a mindset. It could be a person as well. This could also, if this is a person for you, you would know it. If you know that the universe is trying to get you to move away from a person, then you would, you would know that. And if that's something you're ignoring, that might be something. That's the thing, is it sometimes things that aren't even related to the big dream that we have or the big manifestation that we want or whatever we're trying to call in or, or create or the change we're trying to make in our life or improvement we're trying to see, even if it's not related to that one thing that, you know, the universe has been telling you to stop doing or to do or to look into, like, it, once you do that one thing that you know you're supposed to do and you've been asked multiple times by spirit guides, source, whatever, whatever you resonate with, whatever you believe in, you've been asked and you've received signs on moving away from this one thing. And that's like your true knowing, you know it. As soon as you move away from that one thing, no matter how far off, like, it is from that one desire, even if they're not related or seemingly involved at all, you would be surprised at how fast you will manifest those huge things that you've been waiting forever for. Just by releasing this one thing or doing this one thing that you know you've been told to do. Specifically by spirit. You you will be you would be amazed. I've met I've <laughs> I've manifested large amounts of money on multiple occasions just because I ended a relationship that I was supposed to end forever ago. And n n n neither of those things were related. It happened. I, I broke up with this person one at nighttime, one day. I woke up the next morning to the message that I was receiving money that I had waited eight years for. A lot of money to me. $30,000 is a lot of money to me. So it it had nothing to do with my relationship but to the universe it had it had everything to do with my relationship so that's just a little story there so like trust me like that one thing that you're being asked to let go of remove from your life you know let go let 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 it be in the past or move on from the second that you do you'd, you'd be so surprised at what you could manifest in like record time like, it hadn't even been a full 24 hours. <laughs> okay, yeah, Five of Pentacles. Yeah, there's something, there could be someone even that you're being asked to walk away from, move away from. This would be something that you know, okay? Um, okay, if there's someone in your life, even if this isn't a relationship that's like romantic relationship, this could be any type of relationship in your life. If there's some type of conflict that's being created by someone or... It's like someone else is fighting off this desire of yours. Some of you might have someone in your situation or around you that feels like if you were, like, maybe they don't consciously know this, but, or maybe they don't consciously, yeah, maybe they don't consciously know this, but they are trying to fight off you achieving this desired reality because they know their inner true knowing knows that it doesn't involve them. This future, this this um, desire that you have, it doesn't involve them or it isn't theirs. So this person, there's someone who's trying to fight off this desire from coming towards you. This is someone that you need to cut off energetically. Like, uh, I'm getting, the I feel like this person isn't in your situation though. I'm not, if it is, it's obvious to you that this person needs to go. But someone might be still energetically connected to you, or someone's someone is someone that taps into your energy is trying to fight off you achieving this or receiving this or aligning with this big desire that you see ahead. And that's what I'm getting is that like you have some sort of like you have this you have a, a certain knowing about this being your destiny or that this desire or you should know that this desire is involves your destiny. You don't just desire something for no reason. Especially when it's it feels like such a big goal. Um, okay, I am getting the message. Some of you guys, there is is a, something about a divine masculine leaving a bad relationship behind. There's a lot of arguing. There's a lot of, like, defensiveness. Um, 
Okay, I'm getting something about someone tries to get under the skin of this Divine Masculine. Like, someone tries to, like, poke at this Divine Masculine to get him to react. This is something he needs to walk away from, or this is something he's realizing he needs to walk away from because he can't, he doesn't, he doesn't want, this person is trying to get him to give them energy in such a weird way. That's what I'm getting. Okay, that's a specific message for someone. Um, some of you, you really do have to release this, like, lack mentality or this, like, innate belief that you'll always be lacking or that something isn't possible for you or something's just a dream it's not like it's it's you know it's silly or it's impossible or something like that that needs to be released it needs to be recognized first and then released so we have the king of swords here What is this? What goes with this King of Swords? Some of you, yeah, the Two of Cups just wanted to flip over. Some of you, I, mean, I am getting um, this storyline of there's someone who's leaving someone to come say something to you, yeah, to reach out to you, communicate something. Um, okay, yeah, okay. So there's also a message about aligning with this desired reality, Two of Cups, aligning with the desired reality. It comes from having this clear mind about what you deserve, what you're going for. Um, this, this could be, this is something that could be being achieved through some form of meditation. Very strong eights here. We have two eights. There's some sort of karma that you're releasing. Um, some of you, you're becoming extremely independent. If you are depending on anyone for anything, this is something that you are, that's going to be in your past. Wow, and I didn't even realize, we have the, this is the Eight of Swords, too. Three eights. There's something that you are going to realize that your own mind was stopping you from it this whole time. You're going to realize the power of your thoughts and the power of your mind. Okay, there's some sort of clarity that you're receiving or you're, you're, you're gaining this insight on yourself and the way you think or um, I'm hearing a specific power that you have. So a specific ability. I don't know why I keep wanting to show this to you. Um, some of you, you're getting, you're getting channelings. You're a channeler or you're going to be a channeler or you are a channeler and you're getting direct messages about where you're going to be traveling to. Um, some of you, you see a divine counterpart coming a mile away. Like you can sense they're about to say something to you. All right, is there anything else about this that, um, I almost called you Leo, that Libra wants to know about or needs to know about? Is there anything about their situation that Libra wants or needs to know about? After this reading, yeah, definitely take a look at your Jupiter sign. Like, trust me, even if you've already read through your birth chart, you think, oh, I've already read all that. I know what sign it's in, blah, blah, blah. Look it up again. Look into it again. There could be something like, it could be you read it from a different source or you take a different interpretation of something. There's some sort of answer for you lying in your birth chart, specifically wherever you have Jupiter and what sign you have Jupiter. All right, is there anything else that Libra wants or needs to know about their situation? Strength. You're, ga okay, you're gaining this, like, confidence and motivation and dedication to this dream and, and making something happen for yourself and really being, like, the leader of it. Strong Leo energy here. Knight of Pentacles, yes, take your time, make plans, um, take your time, there's no need to rush, okay, 
there's no need to rush just do follow your desires do things for as long as you enjoy them yeah don't let your mind make you think you are you're you have to do something or you're stuck in a certain place or don't don't let your mind imprison you that's what I want to say um, there's a message about someone who is gaining the strength to come forward or they're planning to come forward or they're planning to make you some type of offer that's you know <laughs> saying those words is like cliche in tarot world but some of you have a divine counterpart that does want to say something to you I keep wanting to show you this for some reason <laughs> Give me something about the sign Aquarius. That's what I'm hearing. Also, Sagittarius um, with Eight of Wands. And we have the Death card. Major transformation. Okay, releasing um, an, an old version of yourself. Okay, you're releasing not an old an old version of yourself yes you're leaving a version of yourself in the past or you're releasing this tie that you have to an old version of yourself like or this idea that you are this older version of yourself or you are your past or something like that you're releasing something from the past or releasing this idea this this um there's some sort of restraining idea or belief that's holding you back from something if there's any type of healthy like like action that you can take like in your life or a lifestyle today to make a certain change like if there's just the, even the most small thing the most smallest thing like you you like I don't know <laughs> like you want to clean a corner of your yard or something or you've been thinking about doing this just doing this one thing just do like try to do small actions like try to take as many small actions as you can that's what I want to say to you and this is going to start shifting, I'm getting, it's going to be start shifting an idea in your mind that everything is the way it is. And there could be something about like, there's specific changes that have been put off or resisted even. Whatever it is, try to take as many small healthy actions as you can. No matter how little it is. Or how big it is, whatever you can do. What change can you make today? that wouldn't be, you know, putting yourself way out of the way, but like you have the energy for it, you have the time, you have, you know, the means to do something and take a certain action, take the action now. Don't wait. Jesus. <laughs> High Priestess. Some of you are realizing you you have very, very strong abilities or your your abilities are getting stronger. Um, I'm also getting abilities to manifest, but you're also going to realize how right you were about something, about a situation, this manifestation that you're bringing in, this change in your life, this change in your lifestyle that you are bringing in. You're going to realize that you saw it coming. It's going to be kind of awesome. There, there might be something, yeah, you're going to realize that you saw this potential and then you're going to see it unfold in your actual physical reality. Alrighty, thank you so very much, Libra. I wish you the best of luck and so much love to you as you move through the situation. If it resonated, I hope it provided you with guidance and clarity on that situation. Um, if you need anything from me, everything will be linked in the description. Um, yeah, thank you again. So much love to you. Bye.